Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Final Control here at Wild Earth TV, located in the Juma Game Reserve in Sabi Sands, uh, South Africa. Uh, yeah, this is an episode of uh, We Chat, where uh, this gives you uh, viewers an opportunity to ask us any questions that you may have. And you can do so by logging on to the, the chat room, which I'm going <laughs> to uh, do now, as our internet has been down this, this morning, but it's back up. Uh, but yeah, you can go under... Uh, under the We Social Network, go to We Shows, then there's We Chat, as well as. Uh, you I just need to say a quick check before I come back. Is the internet working at the moment? Uh, just one second, let's be on the line. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Pete was just uh, coming in on the radio, just making sure that the internet was up, which it is. And so once again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send them, uh, kind of just pop into the chat room, or you can also send them through email to finalcontrol at wildearth.tv. And so right now I'm getting the chat room up and going. And yeah, just to let you know, uh, yeah, this morning, uh, yeah, the walk was a little bit short because uh, Herman is uh, feeling a little bit under the weather right right now, and then... So uh, Peter and Pete just did a, a little bit of a link uh, just kind of close by. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully he, right now Herman's resting up, and hopefully he'll be feeling better later on today. And then, uh, yeah, uh, also uh, Sapiwe just got a, a, a message on her phone saying that her sister was sick, so she left for the day to go uh, uh, help her sister out. So it'll be me chatting for now, and Pete will probably stop by in, in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, once again, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, pop on by and I'll kind of switch to the water and hole cam right now here at uh, Wild Earth. This is the one of the feeds that's on uh, 24 hours a day. Um, and of course, we don't kind of show it if, we're, if we have a game drive. But uh, yeah, we can also switch back and forth to it from the final control. That's what the final control is for. All right, looks like uh, some people are tuning in. Uh, hello, Anne, and uh, everybody else that's uh, kind of coming in. And let me just kind of zoom in on the the water buck. This is a male water buck, one of the animals we tend to see freak, frequently around the watering hole, as well as uh, you can see there's two Egyptian geese uh, just swimming around right now in the watering hole, which uh, they've been quite regular. Yep, so I just want to kind of cut back over and say uh, welcome to everybody joining in, just in case uh, if you're just tuning in right now. Yes, we have the WeChat going on right right now, um, uh, to where we started a little bit late as uh, S.P. Way got a call just shortly before that her sister was sick, and so she went out. And so, yeah, we've got things up and running, so we are having a WeChat right now. Um, let's see. Uh, Nope, uh, and is just wondering if there's any names given to the, to the geese yet. Um, not not officially yet, uh, but but um, uh, lots of viewers have kind of uh, giving them uh, names. There's there's a bunch on there, and there's been a couple times that when we've been in the chat room that uh, that uh, people just kind of have been giving them names, so it, it varies. Yeah, uh, I might need to focus it. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. And right now, uh, Pete just joined me, and so we will be popping in to say hello in just a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like uh, people are coming up with various names. Uh, some like uh, Anthony and Cleopatra for the geese. Some like uh, Tony and yeah. Tony and uh, Cleo. So so yeah, it's just people tend to have their their own names for everything. And once again, I'll let Pete start. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, Pete was saying he was gonna make it almost make a bad joke, but he won't. Uh, but uh, thank you, Bluebird. She's saying it's uh, nice to see me this morning. It's oh. nice to be here, and I'm gonna switch over. And this is Pete, and my name is Simon. For anybody new that's tuning in. Yes, good uh, good morning, everyone. It's been a bit of a hectic day so far. Uh, nothing seems to be working as we would like it to. Fortunately, the game drive went out fine, uh, although there's a couple of glitches on there as well. Uh, but yeah, we were, we were able to show you the very nice sightings of uh, Mafufunian and then let me just call it the mystery, mystery male leopard. I'm sure there will be some speculation. And I tried to get the, what do you call it, the, the marks above the whiskers so people could identify it. And Peter clearly saw the heart shapes. So um, yeah, let's see. What name people come up with. I uh, don't think it, in the end, it won't matter to the leopard. Uh, but it was a great sighting. And actually, what I noticed about Mafufunian, and I don't know if you could see it on, on the camera as well, is that like, it's almost like he was drooling. There was this, I wonder if there was maybe, I don't know the behavior of that well, whether it's from excitement or whether they maybe had a little scuffle already earlier in the day, you know, and there's like, almost like foaming at the mouth still from that, or what, what the reason for that was. But uh, it was quite interesting to, to see that uh, between ducking. On the branches. Um, but yeah, then the walk was a bit of a oh, disaster, actually, you could say that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we tried to still bring you one uh, with, with, let's say, one man down. Uh, but uh, then we've, in the rush, we forgot one piece. And then when we figured that out, then something else didn't work as it should. And then the battery started beeping. And so it was just one thing after another. I guess it's a typical Monday morning uh, uh, thingy. Um, but yeah, hopefully. From now on, everything will go better. Um, there's a saying in the Dutch, but I'll translate it. It said, um, if you eat a frog or a toad for breakfast, the rest of the day will be better. So then, <laughs> let's hope that, that that's, this is one of those days. And uh, we didn't even have to eat one of those. So that, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, about the branches, yeah. yeah. I guess it comes with the, with the territory. It's, always, it's actually, as Simon said, it's enjoyable doing that. It's sometimes a bit tricky to keep the camera pointed uh, forward and ducking the branches and then when Peter starts talking to point it at him. And, but yeah, that's, that's part of the challenge. I was a bit sleepy, didn't wake up early, good this morning, but uh, well, being on the back surely gave me enough exercise also, not getting cold, just being dressed like this. So that was uh, quite good. Um, yeah, the walk was a normal, but actually the tree that Peter wanted to climb in, and I'm sure he's going to do it uh, pretty soon, that is a magnificent tree. It's actually it's just so big, it's actually it was quite difficult for Peter even to find enough grips within, within the reach. It's, it's a huge, huge tree. So that I'm sure one of the next days, probably this week, he'll, he will climb it live on air. And uh, yeah, that'll give him a great view. He's actually making plans to build a tree house in there, but I don't think that's going to happen. But it, it is a beautiful tree for a tree house. Let me just get some vines and then we can play Tarzan and Jane. Uh, uh, just need to get some Janes. Yeah. There's lots of, lots of Tarzans in here, or <laughs> would-be Tarzans, but yeah, no Janes. Uh, um, oh, a nice warthog. Uh, so, what else is it? Who's daring us? Ah, I think that's going to be Herman's job. <laughs> to follow Peter up a tree with the camera. Because <laughs> that's going to be quite tricky. 